Hello and welcome to University of Kentucky's Technology Training Quick Tips. In this video we're going to show you how to use Photoshop's Crop Tool. Photoshop's Crop Tool can be used several ways depending on what type of output you desire. Once you have your image open, select the Crop Tool from the Tools palette. At the top of the work area you will have several options to adjust how you use the Crop Tool. For a basic freehand crop we want to make sure all of these options are cleared out. You can do this by clicking on the clear button. Once the options are cleared out, you can now click and drag in the image to set the crop area. Once the crop area is set, you will see several options that you can adjust to change how your crop area looks. The crop guide overlay allows you to turn on and off the grid you see in the middle. The shield color is the area that is darkened and that will be cropped when we are finished. And the opacity is how dark the shield color is. Once you have a crop area selected, you, be you can begin to adjust in finer detail the area that you want cropped. You can use the resize handles to move the sides and corners to add or remove additional areas to be cropped. By clicking and holding anywhere inside the crop area, you can move the cropped rectangle around the image. By clicking and dragging outside the crop area, you can rotate the crop box in order to straighten an image if necessary. You can use the grid to help you align an image along the horizon line or another straight point to do this. Once you are happy with your selection, press enter on the keyboard to activate the cropping action. Now that you have your image cropped, you're ready to save it if necessary. I'm going to go ahead and undo this, and then we'll take a look at a few other options when cropping images, specifically with the width and height fields. By putting values in these fields, we can preset an aspect ratio that the crop box will automatically form. For example, if we want to create a 4x6 image for printing, we can simply put 6 in the width and 4 in the height. Now when we click and drag in the image area, our box will automatically be se selected at the correct aspect ratio of a 4x6 image. You'll notice that you'd only have the option to adjust the corners so that the image stays in the preset aspect ratio. At any time during the cropping process, you want to cancel and adjust your options, simply press escape on the keyboard. This will clear the current crop process. Another example might be if you want to crop your image for viewing on a TV. You can put 16 by 9 in the fields for a widescreen aspect ratio. Once you have your crop area set, press enter on the keyboard and the crop action will occur. Thank you for visiting Technology Training's Quick Tips. For more information, please visit our website.